Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to download, install and use 7-Zip on Windows. I will also briefly explain what 7-Zip is and what it can do. Okay, so the first step is to open up your favorite browser and navigate your favorite search engine and then search for 7-Zip. Now the link we want is the home page, which I'm showing you here. So simply click on the link and by default on the home page, you are presented with the latest stable version of 7-Zip, which at the time of making this video is 7-Zip 18.01. Okay, so briefly, what is 7-Zip? 7-Zip is free open source software. Basically, it's a program that allows you to archive files and folders. Okay, it's really nice. It's a very powerful, stable, and excellent piece of software. Okay, it uses a 7-zip format, which we, we don't have to get bogged down, the LZMA compression. Crucially, it allows you to unpack virtually every archive format you can think of. I've just highlighted them there. Um, that includes all the common archive file formats, as well as, for example, ISO files, which are images of discs and CDs and DVDs and so forth. Also, you can create archives of the 7-zip format as well as the common zip format and the tar format and gzip that's used on Unix systems and Mac OS X systems. It also supports encryption, and I will show you how to encrypt and decrypt files securely in my next video. Okay, so we want to download the latest version. We're given a choice of either 32-bit or 64-bit. You should download the version that corresponds with the version of the Windows operating system that you are running right now, if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit. I have a video that I've already made on, that shows you how to determine whether you're running 32-bit or 64-bit. I'll hopefully put up a link in this video that you can click on that to view it if you need to find out what version you're running right now. So I'm running 64-bit version, so I'm going to download the 64-bit exe. So I'm going to click download and it's going to prompt me um, with the file name, save this file. I'm going to say, click save file. Perfect. So it's downloaded that to my downloads folder. So I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer and there it is in my downloads folder. Perfect. The next step is to simply install 7-zip. And to do that, we simply double click on the exe file. So I'm going to double click and then I'm given an alert to say, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes on your device? And you select yes. So I'm now being prompted with the setup dialog box, the destination folder. I would recommend you choose the default destination folder. As it happens, I myself install my software into a folder called software. So I'm going to do that now, but I recommend you accept the default installation um, parameters and then click install and then click close. Great. That's it installed. So to use 7-Zip, it's actually really easy. By default, when you install 7-Zip, it is integrated with the Windows Explorer such that if I want to archive or 7-Zip a folder, I simply have, all I have to do is select a folder and then right click over it using Windows Explorer and there will be a menu option available to me. You'll see 7-Zip there and within that we can select several options, add to archive, compress an email, add the test folder that 7-Zip and so on. The easiest, uh, the, the, the most common options you will, you will use I suspect will be add to test folder 7 zip or add to test folder zip. So .zip I suppose is the most compatible so we'll select that. So it will simply archive the folder into a .zip file. Great. So to demonstrate how to unzip it, I'm just actually going to delete the test folder. So now to demonstrate to unzip it, it's something very similar. You simply right click over the file, select 7-zip, and then you can choose extract here. So by extracting here, it will extract the contents of the archive file. And given that the archive was consists of actually a folder, it will extract the folder. And that's an important point. And let me demonstrate. So I go into my test folder. As you can see, I've got one file and a test subfolder. So I can select both of those and say, right click, 7-zip, um, add to test folder.zip, and it creates the archive as we expected. Now, if I delete the file in the folder and I now unzip it, using the same manner, 7-zip extract here, it will actually create the file and the folder 
in the current working folder. So it's actually a nice feature. So if you are, the way you archive it is the way it will be extracted by default. That's a really nice feature. Last but not least, I want to show you some of the options that are available with 7-Zip. So um, let me go out, let me delete that just for a moment, go back out um, and I'll delete my zip file here. So I can actually again select the folder, right click, select 7-Zip and choose Add to Archive. And this is the option that gives me, I suppose, the facility to configure how I want my archive to be um, constructed. So here we can specify the name. We can choose any custom name we like. We can choose the archive format. There are four different formats, um, 7-Zip and Zip being the most common. We can choose compression level, the ultra, which is really high compression, but very slow, to store or fastest, which is very fast, um, but low compression. Um, there's different compression methods. I'm not going to go into them. These are related. These options here, dictionary size, word size, and solid block size, are related to the um, compression method that we use. The number of threads, this is excellent. 7-Zip is fully multi-threaded, which means it will make use of all cores um, uh, that are installed in your physical computer. Um, the memory available, you can choose to split uh, volumes, which means you can create an archive and have it consist of multiple files. If, for example, you wanted to back up your archives onto a CD, for example, and your archive, your files were like two gigabytes, you could split them into files of 650 megabytes, as indicated here. So it's a really nice feature. Um, and then specialist parameters for those who are experts in using 7-Zip. Um, you can update mode, add and replace, and so forth, update and add, synchronize, and so forth. You can create self-extracting archives which means you can actually create an archive and then give it to someone. And in order for them to unarchive it, they simply double click. They don't need 7-Zip installed itself um, and compress ensure and so on. I will actually do a video on how to encrypt because it's a little bit um, peculiar and I want to explain how it works and I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll explain that in my next video. So that's really it. Um, I suppose one more feature, although this is for Windows, I want to show you that if ever you want to actually take your archive and use it on a Mac OS X operating system, which I do commonly, I share files between my Windows PC and my Mac OS laptop, um, you can actually use it um, and archive it and extract it using a file, a program, should I say, called KEKA on Mac OS. So there it is, KEKA, the Mac OS file archiver. And the beauty about this archiver is it will extract 7-Zip precisely because it actually, its main compression core is P7-Zip, which is a 7-Zip port. So if you like, this is the Mac OS X equivalent. Okay, that's all I wish to say. Thank you very much. I hope you liked the video. Um, in my next video, I will actually go through in detail how to properly encrypt using 7-Zip.